All right, guys, what's going on? It's Knock. Welcome back to Lumina. And we're going to continue on here with the final puzzle, which we're going to have to redo a load of stuff for, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, not really going to talk too much at the beginning here. We're just going to jump straight in. And... Hopefully get back to where we were last night. Cause we've got to redo all of this uh, first and foremost, which is a little bit annoying. But as well as anyway, I hope you're all well, guys. Um, remember where everything needs to go. Blue cross to there. So blue's going to be from this one. Um, yeah. So I. Following from yesterday's the stream yesterday, I went on to the uh, the Discord, the games Discord, and kind of talking about different bits and pieces about that puzzle that we was stuck on last off yeah, last night, and um, we have. An idea, right? Seems of what we need to do. It was suggested that we don't need to use anything but um, red, and uh, we don't need to use red. Sorry. It seems like it was uh, suggested. So we're gonna hopefully see if we can't uh, put that into practice. We're just gonna get back there. We're just there. The big problem. Because there's that one room that we had to uh, pass through yesterday. Which was, I don't know, it kind of seemed a little bit random as to what we needed to do uh, to get through there, but we'll, uh, we'll see. Sorry, I'm concentrating. I didn't mean random at all. I meant um, time-based. It was very time-based what we needed to do. There's nothing there. Itchy here. Sorry. Got this bit, which is like this. It's kind of weird bit, and then we take the mirrors from. Okay, I assume that's hitting that. Yeah. Okay. I just feel like this whole section here is all about just taking the mirrors. So I'm not sure there's... I'm not sure there's too much puzzling going on in this section. It's just more about finding the mirrors, getting the areas, getting into each of the areas. Um, and successfully doing what needs to be done. That never looks too appealing. 
So I have a prism, and I didn't have a prism when I got to this this point last night, which is different. Um, now, I am going to really quickly. I do want to go back to my um, videos from yesterday just to see how I actually had all this set up because I, I'd, I'd rather not spend time doing like the hit and miss stuff again. Trying to understand. All right, so. I have two reds point over here. Point to there. Go back a touch. Have two greens going to two middle ones. It looks like blues are all hitting this panel on the left. Okay. So I just need to work out what I've got on the right. I got one green. green hitting there. I 
think I've only got one red left now, so. Just where do I point this red? To second one on the right. Alright, so everything's hooked up. Alright. Let's wait our turn. through. Excellent. So we're back to where we were last night, which is um, good. Okay. So So what I've been told is basically this one kind of points down to here. This one then sort of points down to here. Kind of thing. And then the blue one points down to here to help me It's not going to be the easiest of things to maneuver about, especially at that angle. If I can get more of a Something like all the way over to there, that might work a bit better.
Alright, so that's... It's too high. Alright, so now I need to plan. Goodness. Almost. Why is this not... Stay still. Oh, boy. Why was, why was I walking? That was just... That was stupid on my part. Stay here. Excuse me. I don't get it. I guess it's just too low. Alright, I don't know if that's how I'm meant to do it, but I'm taking that. Alright, we progressed. We got progress. I assume that's hitting the right one. I assume. I 
I always say it's never really good to assume, but... Okay, I don't need to reflect that one into here. Because I can open this up with this. Um... Kinda need more mirrors. Unless... I could potentially skip. this We could do that. Depends what we got in here. My 
God. What is this? I mean, there's things there. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm quite concerned that I haven't, um... I'm quite concerned... Can I target this one, please? Thank you. So I did that. But how do I get to that? Purple seems like the only one that I haven't really found.
Yeah, it's just purple. I mean, the other thing I haven't contemplated is I could potentially now backtrack and get some more of these mirrors. Maybe a like slight mirror overkill. But then I guess that's too high, and I bet that's going to send me back. <sighs> of course. Why did I think this was a good idea? Right, you know what? Let's try and do it without because I think it's going to be more trouble than it's worth. If it comes to the point where we're really struggling, then we'll potentially look at it again. But at the minute...
boy. Um... All right, well. We did all that. Gonna want more mirrors. This is such a, like... This is such, like, a, a cluster. A cluster truck, shall we say. Alright, that should be constant, right? This is either like the... This could be like the dumbest thing I've ever done. Or it could be the god thing.
All right, we did it, boys. Man, we have loads of mirrors now. So many mirrors. It's crazy. All right, so. With all these mirrors, Oh, wait a second. Alright. So. I think it's red and yellow. No, it won't be red and yellow, will it? It'll be blue and yellow make white. I think I basically got to make th all three whites out of this, out of these. So let's just double check. One. So I want red and light blue. And then finally, green. And purple. So yeah, you really did have to go back, it seems. Seems like you had to backtrack. I did a thing.
Alright, I feel like things just got creepy. I think I've got plenty of um, mirrors. See, I probably need like a hundred mirrors for the last bit or something. be uh, looking a little crooked, I have to say. to put this one though. There's like a lot of geometry in the way here. I didn't want to use the prism just yet, but...
that I feel like I'm not being very, considering how many mirrors I have. I don't feel like I'm being very efficient, but I don't know how much longer. This is like the puzzle that keeps on going and going and going. Greed is the destroyer of worlds. point here it seems but I don't want green through here don't I So now I'm in trouble because <clears throat> See, unless there was some um Unless there are some other mirrors that I've missed. Oh, wait a second. This is kind of where I wish this game had a quick save feature. I'm wondering, do I send this back to take free up this mirror? But if I do that, I'm worried that...
I don't know. Can I optimize any of these? It's the only thing I can think. Got one back. Can't take anything there. Um... So I have effectively six items.
Alright, can I get up here? I don't know, I've got... I got one back. It's a prism, but yeah, my only thought about this was could I maybe use this? What's going on, Hanky? How you doing, man? like the freaking level that keeps on giving man it's just alright let's do this the other way around Shame that. It's a real shame. No more freaking mirrors or anything, so I'm hoping this is going to take me to the end now. Because I don't see any other way that I can do anything. Is there like a giant kraken coming through like a portal? I was expecting that. 
So... Yeah. I got the... Um, I got the bad ending. So there's, there's two achievements in this game, and the second achievement is to complete the game. You don't actually get the achievement if you get the bad ending, it seems. Um, I knew about this because some people had posted on their Discord. Let's just um, mute the audio because the snake sound is quite annoying for you guys. Um, yeah, somebody had posted on their Discord that um, they'd completed it and they hadn't got the achievement. And it seems like you get the bad ending if you steal any treasure, which I stole lots of treasure throughout the... Um, throughout. So... Um, yeah, I'm not sure I have any um, desire, shall we say, to go back and play the um, good ending anytime soon. Um, I mean, to be fair, it was all right up until about level 14, because we did sort of like that whole... Sorry, I'll click out of this because the snake's very annoying. Um, it was all right up until level 14. I think, you know, we breezed through the game up until that point. And then I think I found from level 14 onwards, they were almost trying to make the puzzles more difficult by making them longer and throwing in more lasers and um, throwing in more mirrors. I mean, at, at points I, I had, and that last puzzle, on that last area, I'm sure at one point I had like 12, 13 mirrors and a prism on me. Um I kind of get. I kind of like the. I kind of like the last sequence, although I found it frustrating. I did like the last sequence, the way it played out, in sort of like right. This is you've got a finite resource now, and this is you. You've got to kind of like think about how you can do things. Um, I had to go back and get a mirror, and sort of like. I had to optimize one of my other solutions in order to get that mirror to be able to sort of proceed. Um, but yeah, the the alternative bad ending is um, yeah a little little disappointing to say the least. Doesn't really, I don't really get what happened. I, I mean, I guess that's like Kanifa, and um, he he's coming to get us. Maybe I I I generally I don't know. I, I don't I don't think the story was particularly good. I don't think it was portrayed particularly good. Um, and to be fair, you could go through the entire game and not even know anything about the story if you don't touch the um, the hieroglyphic walls. Um, I mean, you, you're just taking kind of like bits and pieces off, off those walls and trying to interpret into the story, which, um, I don't know, to me, didn't make most sense. <laughs> you don't remember an Egyptian deity that looked like that? Yeah. I agree. I agree. Um, so, yeah, I, I feel like puzzle dif difficulty in this game is forced by lengthy levels and just lots of mirrors and awkward positionings of mirrors. I, d I don't... I think a lot of the puzzles could be refined and could be a lot better in this game. Um, if you just take out, like, the, the need to be... Uh, have the level so big and of course something I have touched on quite a few times during this playthrough is the whole thing of I don't agree with punishing the player for having to redo something so I just feel like shortcuts you need to add shortcuts into puzzles so once the player has done something once they don't then have to repeat those steps there was the it was I think it might have been level 14, actually. Like, the, one of the first... We had the bridge, and, like, it was two areas, and then we crossed the bridge and, and whatnot. Um, that area was so frustrating for me because you kind of open up with the purple laser, redirect the purple laser to the top. You have to do something at the top. Go back over to the other side, but then to reopen the door, you then have to put another mirror down, point it at that, take away the one on the inside, go back outside, take away that mirror... And it's just, it's just so punishing to make the player do that over and over again. So I kind of feel in those sorts of scenarios, I, I, 
I said the easiest thing. I'm not, by no means, I'm not a games developer. So, you know, take what I say with a pinch of salt if you want. But I feel like the best way that this game could have worked is once the player has worked out the puzzle, hit the switch and opened a door, the door remains open. I don't see why that can't be a thing. If they've already solved the puzzle, why do they need to keep resolving that puzzle and redoing that puzzle to be in order to proceed? I think in that the level I'm talking about, um, when I first attempted it, I think I must have reset that a good ten times, and I still didn't even complete the puzzle because I was like, it was a lot of trial and error, and that's another frustrating thing is when you are doing trial and error. To have to redo the same thing over and over again just to get to the point, just to try one thing, to then have to go and do it all over again. Yeah, it's, it's really frustrating. So they're my sort of two big um, critiques about the game. Um, levels don't have to be so long and the shortcuts. Um, regards to the actual game mechanics themselves, they can be a bit fiddly. Um, I don't know how you can, I don't know how you would be able to almost rectify it, but obviously the more lasers you add, it alters the reflection angle, which, I mean, again, I, I don't really understand reflection and light. I'm, I'm no scientist and I, heck, I, it's a long time since I was at school, but I feel like for the purpose of the game and to not make it so finicky for the player, there might be a better way that you can... Um, almost like fix the angle so which almost like if right so sorry so almost like no matter how many lasers are pointing into a mirror it will always reflect off at the same distance at the same angle I feel like that would be a lot better and that would solve a lot of frustrations that I had during the playthrough um, if I'm completely honest. Um, so there's that. The snake mechanic was just an absolute nightmare. I really did not enjoy the snake mechanic at all. It's so... You have to be so precise. And if you stray, like, it seems like a pixel to one side and the, the laser's not, not directly hitting you or something, then it punishes you. And I don't... I, I don't really see why that's a necessary thing um so yeah i did i didn't enjoy the, the snakes and having to go past the snakes um there's a couple of instances where there were prisms in the level and i didn't even need to use them there was the whole soft lock in last night on chapter 17 although i have already raised that to the developers um on the discord um there was the whole uh, geometry, clipping through geometry that we saw last night on that rotating room, which just just looked god-awful. How can, how can a solid stone block clip through a glass pane? I don't know. But, yeah, I just, I feel that there are lots of things that need polishing with this game. Um... And I assume it's still coming out tomorrow. But I personally don't think... I personally think you should spend a bit more time refining and polishing. Um, the way I went to this game too, like Bounce of a Mirror would combine and the game somehow reconciles description of the angle. Yeah, I think Conclan touched on that last night, actually, Hanky, that um, it seems to work on sort of like a an angle and, and depending on how many lasers are, are doing that. Um... I mean, my, I mean, the, the the way in my mind. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Like I say I'm no scientist, but surely if if you, if I am shining different beams of light, it will always shine off at the same point. I, I don't know. Maybe I'll get maybe I'll get a mirror with my kids at the weekend, and I'll get some different lights, and we'll we'll do some experiments. Um, but yeah, what was I saying before that um, about the polishing? Um, yeah, so there was there was a couple of issues where um, I could see through geometry. Um, the geometry was clipping through stuff, and it just it just looked awful. And that level level seventeen last night, um, when that rotating platform was just just terrible. Um, 
and again going back to that and the bit with like the like the stepping stones in level 18 as well um timing puzzles are never particularly great yeah okay um but yeah the timing puzzles are never great because you know as we saw um at times on I, I keep referring to level 17 i know i do but um level 17 and 18 really had the main timing puzzles the timing was because of the, the rotating platform in 18 uh in 17 17 18s was that massive pendulum that was blocking the light and trying to get a god snake pit but um yeah it's really frustrating to time puzzles um and, and force the the player to do things in a in a constraint um 17 wasn't so bad but it was more the fact that if you didn't time something right you were stuck behind a door and you had to wait there for 10 20 30 seconds um or whatever it was until the lasers had revolved around again and were hitting the right points so um but again all things like that would be solved if you added shortcuts into the map so that once the player has solved the puzzle once they don't then have to wait and resolve the puzzle. If that shortcut was there and that door was already open, that was permanently opened, wouldn't have been a problem. Um, so that all comes down to shortcuts. Um, there was a couple of instances in the game where I felt like it was it was kind of like a game of Where's, Wal Where's Wally, Where's Waldo for American guys, um, whereby we're hunting high and low and some of the positions of the mirrors and the prisms were like were hidden. I can I can recount recall two two instances where I was just wandering around aimlessly for at least half an hour because I couldn't see a prism that was hidden away in the dark, like right in a corner. I don't really think that hiding elements like that in a puzzle game is particularly a great move. Because um, at the end of the day, when you come into a puzzle game, um, you're thinking, right, how do I solve this and how do I do this? And on both occasions, I was like, well, if I had something else, I could solve this. And I'd worked it out in my head. But because the items and the, the puzzle elements were hidden and I couldn't find them, um, I just like then going off on a tangent, trying this, trying that, trying everything, and just getting frustrated with the puzzle. It, it really was frustrating um, trying to find some of the things um, in a couple of the levels. But... Um, yeah um i don't think there was any like more negative things um i i, I don't want it all to be negative so trying to think of the positives um i think that the music is good um i think it really fits in definitely fits in with like the egyptian theme um i think a bit more variation on the music would have been nice i think the majority of the time it was was it the same music i mean i don't know i i have a bad short-term memory i, I couldn't tell you if it's but um yeah, the um, there were times where the music changed it up though to add a bit more drama, which I thought was really really good. Um, some the, the visuals as well. The the visuals were relatively nice. Um, I don't know. I, I feel with Unreal Engine sometimes it can make textures and and surfaces look very shiny. Um, but all in all, I, I think visually it, it looks good. Um, there was just like like i said the, the issues with the geometry kind of like let things down um a little bit but um yeah i, I would like, like more story as well i've gone back in negatives i know i have but yeah i i think you could have played out the story a bit more i'd like to see more story um but yeah i, I think that pretty much covers everything like i said i i personally don't think the game is ready for release um, I think you could do is spending a little bit more time just polishing it. Sorry, polishing and tweaking um, would be relatively nice. Um, spending a bit of time making sure everything is, is nice and polished. Um, I mean, I don't think you can probably this far in development, you're not going to be able to change things like the shortcuts and trying to improve the actual reflection mechanic um i'm gonna guess you you're far too you're too far down the line to be able to do that without like having massive delays and I, I, by all means I, i'm not suggesting you know you, you put this off for six months to try and fix everything that i'm saying right here but um 
some of the minor things like the clippings and things again in that circle room i don't know how much you'd be able to change without having to spend like a massive amount of time um almost redesigning the room or narrowing down blocks or whatever so um you know I, I, at the end of the day take it with a pinch of salt I've, I've tried to be as honest as i can um i hope that you can take some of the feedback and sort of put it in a in kind of like a positive way um you might even just remove that room uh, I don't. Well, I don't know that you could remove the room. Um, I don't know that you could remove the room, though, Hanky, because obviously it's it's pretty much key key to the puzzle, isn't it? The the whole circle thing. Um, like I said last night, though, the I had read in the Discord that they had taken that room back to a previous state. So um, I'm not really sure how that was working before. Um, I don't know. I just think there's like too many things in that room and there's too many things ro rotating I, I, the shape of the room really doesn't help at all um but it really does not look good when you get like solid blocks clipping through glass blocks um but yeah anyway um i think i have said everything i wanted to say about this game thank you very much though again for giving me the opportunity to uh play and review the game um i hope some of my feedback can be taken on board and help you sort of develop the game and improve the game uh further um and yeah i i generally genuinely wish you luck uh and hope the the release goes well um i'll be sure to um i, I will leave a, a review on steam as well um tomorrow once the uh, everything is live but uh yeah like i said thank you very much for giving me the opportunity i really appreciate it um everybody on youtube that's the end of the series thank you very much for watching um hope you've enjoyed it hope my frustrations haven't been too annoying to watch uh i know in the previous episode especially i got very very frustrated with that so um yeah thank you very much for watching i've been knock you've been awesome See ya.